Hello everyone, today I'm going to be heading to San Francisco's Chinatown to support some of their local businesses. In the last video, I supported Oakland's Chinatown since they've really been struggling during the pandemic, so I thought in this video I'd support San Francisco's Chinatown since they've also had really low numbers during the pandemic. So let's head over there now and see what kind of delicious food we can find. I just got to Chinatown, and the first stop I'm going to be checking out is Golden Gate Bakery. I just got to Golden Gate Bakery, but it is closed today. I was not surprised because oftentimes they're not open during the week because they kind of have random hours. The next stop is Good Mom Cock Bakery, and they're known for their dim sum. The next stop is Compo Kitchen, and I'm gonna pick up some of their roast pork and duck. I just stopped by Eastern Bakery for some of their pineapple buns, and they're the oldest bakery in Chinatown. It's time to leave Chinatown. It looks like we got some good foods to try, so let's head home now. I just got back home with all the food, and the first thing I'm gonna be trying is a barbecue pork bun that I got from Good Mom Cog Bakery. Let's go ahead and give this pork bun a taste. It smells very fragrant. Wow, I absolutely adore this pork bun. The outside is nice and fluffy, and what I love is the bun is not too dry, and the meat as well is nice and juicy, along with that rich sauce. Wow, this is a great pork bun. And what I also love is there is a ton of filling inside, so you're definitely getting your money's worth with these pork buns. The next thing I'm going to be trying is the shark fin dumpling in these beef shumai. Let's start by trying our beef shumai. Wow, I love this beef shumai. The outside wrapper is paper thin, and the inside meat is extremely juicy, and the flavor reminds me of Chinese meatballs that you would get at dim sum, and this is just really comforting. I love this. Next, I'm going to be trying the shark fin dumpling, and this is just a pork dumpling, and there's not actually any shark fin in it, so this should be delicious. This shark fin dumpling is incredible. The outer wrapper is paper thin, you can practically see through it, and the inside again like the shumai is extremely juicy. The second you take a bite, juice just floods your mouth, and I love that. And the inside is just filled with little bits of mushroom, water chestnut, carrot, and a little bit of celery. It's just so fragrant and flavorful. This is a must try. Before I recorded this video, I had no clue what shark fin dumplings were, I just thought they sounded really interesting, and I looked it up in Wikipedia, and according to them, shark fin dumplings were popular in the 1980s when they originally used shark fin, but since all this controversy has been happening about sharks, since they've been harvested for all their fins, and people have been really upset about it, they just switched to using pork instead, and I have to say, shark fin dumplings, wow, they're a must try. Next, I'm going to be trying our pork sticky rice that is just wrapped in a lotus leaf. And I'm really excited to try this because this is one of my favorite dim sum dishes. 
pork sticky rice. Here it goes. Wow, this totally satisfies my craving for pork sticky rice. The rice has the perfect sticky, soft, chewy texture, and on the inside, I love the small bits of ground pork, along with a little bit of black mushrooms that really add a nice punch of flavor. This is a great pork sticky rice. What I love about the sticky rice is they include Chinese sausage in it, which is one of my favorite additions to sticky rice. Now I'm gonna be trying the roast duck and char siu plate that I got from Compo Kitchen. First, I'm gonna be trying this cha shu, and I can't wait to try this. This just looks so decadent and rich and flavorful. Wow, that is a great piece of barbecue pork. What I love about it is it's not too salty, it's nice and sweet, and it just goes really well with that tender, juicy meat. Wow, this is some great barbecue pork. Next, I'm gonna be trying this roast duck, and this also feels very juicy. Let's give our roast duck a taste. I can't wait to try it. It looks extremely flavorful. Wow, that is some great roast duck. It's nice and juicy, and I love the fat that's under the skin. It really just adds some more flavor to it. And this is a great roast duck because it's also not too salty. I find that oftentimes these roast meats are too salty for me, but these are perfectly seasoned. Wow, this is great. Now I'm going to be trying the pineapple bun that I got from Eastern Bakery, and this is one of my favorite pineapple buns. Wow, this sure is a tasty pineapple bun. I love the outside, it's not too thick and sweet, and the bun itself is very soft and fluffy, and you will adore this if you like baked goods. Like, these are just amazing. And that is all I have for you guys today. I had a really fun time exploring San Francisco's Chinatown, and what I loved was all the food was at a very affordable price. It did not cost too much, and it was all very delicious. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to give it a like, and also make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.